I am pretty sure you would have used such icons with conditional formatting. But what do you think about adding an indicator slicer on top of it? This doesn't only filter the table for the respective icons, but it will also count the numbers here, which will add more value in your table visuals. So, are you excited to create this amazing feature in Power BI? Let's do it from the scratch. All right, here I have created this table visual. I wanted to track the store's sales performance, so I have added these basic measures to calculate the sales growth. These measures are pretty simple. Total sales, same period last year, or the percentage growth. The data model is also very straightforward, and this is part of the Contoso dataset. Now, if I want to just add the status icons, it is very easy to do. I can just go to conditional formatting, and then I can add the icons based on my logics. But, since I need to filter those icons with icon filter, I need to follow another approach. So without further ado, let me apply my first workaround. I will create a new measure. Measure name I can keep as status. In this measure, I will create status code for negative growth, 0 to 20% growth, and more than 20% growth. You can change this based on your requirements. So I am validating. If percentage growth is less than 0, then status is 1. The next validation is, if percentage growth is between 0 to 20%, then status is 2. And in the last, if growth is above 20%, then status code 3. As said, you can change these logics based on your requirements. Now, I will add this measure to my table visual. At this stage, if you are thinking that I will use conditional formatting feature, then be careful from here onwards. I can't use the default conditional formatting feature because I need an indicator slicer, and I also need to count these icons and show on top of this table. It means I need to create a custom table and store the icons. This table name I can keep as indicator. The first column is nothing but the status ID column. And in the second column, I will store copy paste icons. For this demo, I am using these icons from this website. But you can find such icons easily on internet. At this moment, you may not see these colored icons in the table, but you will see them in a while. All right. Now I need to create two important measure. One is to filter the table for respective status line items, and another is to count the individual and the combined status based on selection. Before that, I will create a slicer using the indicator column for my new custom table. I can change the slicer style to a tile, and then place the slicer at the required location on my report page. I will also apply a sort order for the indicator column based on the status ID column. Let's create the measure to filter the table. So I can keep this measure name as filter. In this measure, I will write status measure should be inside the values of the status ID. Values function will store all the selected indicator status ID. Since I need to use this as a visual level filter, I will have to wrap this expression inside an int function so that it will be converted as one or zero for true or false values. In case if nothing is selected in the slicer, I need the default value as one. For that, I am validating, if my indicators are filtered, then use this validation, else return one for no selection. Now I can use this measure as visual level filter and select the value of this filter as one. With that, our slicer has started filtering the table for the respective status ID. Since I need to use icons as status, I can add the indicator column and then remove the status measure from the table. Rename the column name as status. Now we have the required functionality. But since we also need to count the number of status for individual selection or the multi-selection, I will create the required measure. This measure name I can keep as status count. Here I will summarize the store table for country and store name because same store name can be found in different countries. And to add the status ID column, I will use a column function. Since I already have the status measure, I can refer the same for the additional column which will count the status for the each store. After that, I will filter this entire table expression such that the status ID column of this table should be equal to the status ID column of the selected indicator. Now I can count rows of this table with count rows function. Next, I will store this entire expression inside a variable. In my return statement, I will validate. If selected value of the indicator is equal to one, then I will show the red icon with the value of the variable 
which will count the line items in above table. I can repeat this step for my other two indicator. This way, this measure will count the number of line items into the table visual. But still we have a problem. This measure can only count the values if there is a single selection, and for multiple selections it will return blank values. If you want to show all the selected status count, then you need to change this measure. But for simplicity, I will create an another measure for this. This measure I can name as count all. Here I will create a variable to store the indicator table with count of status for each icon. Inside that, I will summarize the indicator table for the status ID column, and to add the icon's count, I can use egg column function. This additional column can use the previously created status count measure, which was counting for single selection. In the return statement, I can just use the text as number of stores with status code. And then I can use the concatenate x function to combine the indicator and its respective count so that it will work even for the multiple selection. The table argument for this function is my temp table variable. The expression is nothing but the icon count column. I am using some empty space for the delimiter argument. All right, let's use this measure and see if it's working or not. So I will replace my earlier measure with this one. As that you can see, this is working as expected. My table is getting filtered for the respective selection. And I am getting the count of selected status for individual or multi selection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.